You ever come across a plugin where you just have to start a screencast for it immediately, as soon as you get your hands on it, as soon as you see it in the Twitter feed, so you just record in your home studio because you want to show the world the power of this new plugin? No? I did. Let's talk about Command UI today. It's something that's enhancing one of my favorite features of WordPress, not even enhancing, it's replacing one of my favorite features, which is the command palette. The command palette is something that is just very limited in its use case of WordPress.org, a self-hosted WordPress, a little bit more powerful on WordPress.com. I used it there. I can access it on across all the admin pages, but on the self-hosted version, it's just not there yet. It's just missing so many features, although yours truly did help make it a little bit better by accessing template parts with the help of a few other smart people. Let's dive into what Command UI is right now. If you just hit Command K, you can see right here, this is just a newer look and feel. There's some quick hotkeys that we see here, G and T, P and T, U and U. Once you start to learn how this um, interface works and you know the quick keys, you can. this is really made for the power user. When I ask the plugin developer what he thinks the biggest differences are between this and built-in command palette, here's what he had to say. Command UI has an extreme focus on accessibility. It's built for power users, not the average user. The search scales to the moon, up to 50,000 items you can search to and probably beyond by the time this goes to full release. It's available everywhere, front end, page builder, Gutenberg, site editor, etc. It has contextual action, so if you're viewing a post on the front end, you can just press E and it'll start to edit the post for you. It has global shortcuts to help navigate the whole system quicker, and uh, probably a lot more as he starts to develop this plugin and make it a lot more feature rich. Okay, so we have our command UI up and I can start, start typing in create. It'll allow me to do a whole bunch of things. Uh, I can create posts, pages, users, media, patterns, navigation menus, anything you can create in WordPress, you can kickstart that right here in command UI. Let's just keep it simple. I can go to create post. It's gonna immediately bring me to my post editor. And these are the things that I'm doing quickly. So if I'm creating my posts, go back into my post and I do, you know what? I actually wanna create a page. I meant to create a page. I can leave this and that'll bring me to the create new page editor, which looks largely the same. It's not the best demo, but you can see I just quickly left the post. Now I'm in page and I can start creating this page. Fantastic, quick, and easy. And that's what I really like. Okay, let's say we have everything set up. We got a fresh install of our WordPress site. What's the thing we want to do next? We want to install plugins, right? We want to get this thing going to do what we want to do. We can do that right from the command palette. You can do it with hotkeys if you're really good and you start to learn the system, um, you know, and be really effective with it, or you can just start clicking. So I just started searching for the word plugins. It's going to say, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to search the repository? Do you want to activate plugins? Do you want to deactivate plugins? I want to search the repository. I'm going to search for one of my favorite plugins, Block Visibility. You can see how fast that is. I'm going to click on Block Visibility. Now I have two options. I can install it or I can install and activate it. Let's go ahead and install and activate. Now remember, I'm doing this right from my pages screen. You can see that it was installed and activated. Little notifications says it's there, ready to go. So let's clear the command UI and go to Plugins installed plugins and there's our block visibility so i was on my page let's say i'm you know getting my home page set up i'm sort of just throwing up some default uh, text for a, a placeholder now I'm, i just jump into command ui to install some plugins install and activate right from a command line and now go right to the screen and see it and confirm that it's there really really powerful stuff with something like command ui now, remember we said that Command UI has some contextual stuff depending where you are on your WordPress website. Right now, I'm viewing a post uh, on the front end. I am logged in. If I hit Command K, I can immediately go into editing this post. It just default knows where I'm at. It says I can start editing this post. Or I can just hit the letter E, and that'll bring me right into the site editor. Don't judge me. This was imported for demo sake. <laughs> this is uh, demo content here. But you can see it was from the front end. Press the letter E. I'm now editing this post and viewing uh, the content, right? It's just instead of having to grab the mouse, navigate to edit post, click it, wait for it to load, Command UI does it super quick. And these are the kinds of things Things, I think that'll make even developing sites faster as we start to see this, uh, not only WordPress get better, but Command UI get better. Let's take a look at that. We're in that same post. We can do create pattern. 
and go right into the site editor to start editing and creating a pattern. We'll call it Matt's pattern. Create. And then I'm on my way to developing, you know, this new pattern I'm building for this particular site. So it's getting us to all points. So just a quick preview of what's coming with Command UI. I wanted to just show this to you and let you know that it is coming soon and available. You can visit the website. I'll link it up in the description. Uh, but one little last tip here, if we click on internal, uh, you can toggle dark mode, you can enable JavaScript debug logs for this browser um, and view the command shortcut. So if you wanted to change from command K to something else, you can change that right here or reset to defaults. Uh, really powerful stuff. Really looking forward to see what happens next. I love the old school like um, Google timer, like it takes 0.10 milliseconds to run a search. Uh, that's, you know, really cool. So check it out, commandui.com. Sign up for the secure launch deal access. He did give me this plugin for free right now. It's the release candidate for, so it's not the stable version. Uh, I'll definitely pick it up in the future because this is something that I use day to day when I'm building websites. Check it out, Command UI. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. We'll see you in the next one.